All right, Stuart, let me paint you a picture. I love painting pictures. We've been doing a lot of painting pictures on on this session of podcasts. Pastor shows up Sunday morning. Okay. Everybody's there. Church is going on. Pastor walks up to the podium and says, all right, I'm about to give you my message. I have no clue what it is. I'm going to make it up right now. Okay. Would that go over very well? I mean, it kind of depends on the church. I've been in lots of of scenarios where that's the case. But most of us could probably agree the pastor usually shows up prepared. They've thought through what they're going to preach on. They've done some studying. They've done some discussion. They've put things together. All right. So if the pastor is going to show up prepared, wouldn't it make sense that perhaps the worship leader should show up prepared? That and also the band. The band should show up prepared, but also... The text should show up prepared, right? Yeah. I mean, to me, it seems logical, but we walk into a lot of churches where it's like the tech just rolled out of bed. Yeah. They're not even sure what day it is, but yeah. they figured out they needed to be at church. Well, the thing is, that what we do as sound techs, honestly, it's not glamorous. It's not <laughs> supposed to be glamorous. In fact... I say this all the time. If nobody knows we exist, you did we right. did our job yep. correctly. It's true. Because doing production, especially sound, is a more of a servant position than anything. Mm. Because we are facilitating all the areas through tech that happen in a service. From the pastor's mic being on to the band, you know, everything. Every, everything that happens tech-wise mm-hmm. happens through us, but behind the scenes. Well, and it's one of my favorite challenges to give myself whenever I tech anything. And I've, I've teched a lot of different events over the years, but like, I like to create, I don't know, this is how it works in my brain. Like I almost like to create like a, like a, a game board of things that I need to be looking out for or things that I can do ahead of time to prepare for something. Like I remember I, I used to teach in a small Christian school and uh, first year there, the administration came to me and said, Hey, we need someone to run tech for the graduation ceremony. Not a glamorous pose, right? I mean, this is Mm-mm. a B school, like 10 kids graduating, okay? Most people would slum that off, not put any preparation to it. But what do I do? I'm a tech guy, yeah, right? So we're putting the PowerPoints together ahead of time. We're yep. getting the senior video. I'm setting up the sound system. I'm even tuning it. I mean, we're in a dinky gym in a B school, but I'm yeah. tuning the sound system, yeah. putting fresh batteries in the microphone. We do. I do a complete check tech I said that backwards. Tech check yeah. by myself. Nobody's there. Nobody knows I'm doing any of these things. Yeah. I just do it. And I have a junk load of fun doing it. I don't yeah. know. Like that gets my nerdy self all excited. Well, checking all that stuff out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're preparing ahead yes. of time and thinking of things to prepare. So I'm running through the PowerPoint. I'm hooking up to the project. Anyways, I get the whole thing prepped. Graduation day comes up. We go through and even something goes wrong because welcome to tech. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Something goes wrong. And I think on my feet and I go fix the problem really quick. We still have a great ceremony. The principal comes up to me afterwards and he goes, man, that was one of the best graduation ceremonies I've ever been a part of. And this is a guy who's been a principal for 20 years. So this is not his first rodeo, right? Why did he have such a good time? I mean, I had countless parents coming up to me. I'm like, man, that was such a great uh, ceremony and I was like how'd you know I had anything to do with it and they're like well the principal told us because nobody knew I was doing it but why did they have such a good time because I took the time to prepare all these little minuscule things in reality all I did for that entire ceremony is run a powerpoint uh, I hit play on a song I turned up a podium microphone not glorious stuff yeah but because I took the time to really prepare it and like put my all into it it had a really positive effect. Now imagine if you're the sound tech, even in a small church, but you took that mindset into every Sunday. You prepared yourself. You checked on things that you need, know need to be checked on. You're proactive, and you brought a little bit of excitement into it. Like your congregation's going to notice that. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't load up the kids in a car to go on a road trip without like maybe filling it up with gas, checking the oil. Maybe yeah, checking the oil. Maybe packing a suitcase. Maybe if you're like my kids, they need lots of entertainment right. to, to make it the 12 hours or whatever. You don't just like just jump in the car. All right, we're going. We get, you know, an hour down the road and you're on the side of the road because you're out of gas. Right. Like you got to put a little. And that seems like kind of ridiculous. Like, well, of course, we're going to fill the car up with gas right. before we go. ahead. Well, then why don't you 
on the tech side, why don't you put fresh batteries in the yeah, wireless right. mics? Of course we're going like, to do that. Like it, it, it should just be something that you do. You're going to line check. You're going to, yep. you know, whatever. I was at a church this Sunday and the, the keyboard player was waiting on a keyboard stand. So what did I do? I got the cables out. I got an instrument cable. I got DIs. I got power for him. I got everything needed. So when the keyboard stand came, he could plop it down and plug it in. Yeah. Like I want to save time on the other end. Instead of just sitting there like, well, <sighs> waiting on the keyboard player again, you know, like, yeah, that doesn't accomplish anything. Yeah. And I think preparation, if you think about it the right way, can be a lot of fun. <laughs> 